Okay, let's go to head of household now. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna remove uh, one going back to a single person, but then add a dependent, which is usually the thing that's required to push someone up to a head of household. Okay, so now we're head of household here. And so we've got Mr. Anderson. And then you would expect normally, as we talked last time or in a prior presentation, we, when we ran scenarios for qualifying for a head of household, that you would have a dependent as part of the qualifications. Does it necessarily have to be one that qualifies for a child tax credit or anything, but one that would qualify to push someone up to the head of household. So then I'm back to the 100,000 here. And now the standard deduction is at the 19,400, the 19,400. Okay, so if I go back on over and I was just to mirror that in my Excel worksheet, I would delete the second W2 and the standard deduction I'm gonna say is now equivalent to the 19,400 which will bring us down to the 80,600 of the tax. 80,600, page two then, calculates the tax at 11,855. So I'm gonna say, all right, <clears throat> 11,855. I'm losing my voice again. No, don't go, voice, I need you. Okay, it's okay, my voice won't go. My voice loves me. All right. Let's do a let's do a, a a qualifying survivor spouse here just to round things out. So now we're at qualifying survivor spouse. We've got uh, the Neo here, Mr. Anderson, and uh, we're gonna say remember that the the year of death we're gonna say wasn't in the the 2022, but some in the prior uh, year we'll say for our example because if the death happened of the spouse in 2022, they would still be married filing joint typically. So, but, but now it's the year after and they qualify because they have a dependent as well. So they don't bounce back to single, but rather, or head of household, but rather get the beneficial status of the surviving spouse. And so we're still at the 25,900 as opposed to bouncing back to a single file at the 12,950 or head of household, uh, 19,400. So m remember if you're single, if you're unmarried, the best, the, the worst status is filing single because then you get the 12,950. Better than that, uh, 19, four hit fit 400 if you're head of household, but you'd need a dependent. Better than that would be that you're a qualified widow, widower, or surviving spouse, whatever they call it now. But obviously you would have to <laughs> have had a spouse that died, which would be a tragic situation and usually a qualifying uh, dependent in that situation for that to be covered. All right. Now let's go back and say that we're over uh, 65. So if they're older than 65, that'll typically bounce us over to using the 1040 SR instead of the standard uh, 1040. But if you're using tax software, you can often still kind of look at the form 1040 because it has the layout that might be a little bit more familiar to you. So if I go to the form 1040 single filer, Mr. Anderson, and then we've got the checkbox down here. We're born before January 2nd, 1958, in essence, over uh, 65. We've got the 100,000. And then down here, we've got the standard deduction is now at the 14.7. So if I was to kind of review this using my Excel worksheet, I might end up going, okay, this, I, I would think they were single, but no, the software's saying that it should be bumped up here because they're over 65. So I've said, it's, okay, it's gonna be this plus that added for single and head of household 1,750 because they bumped up to uh, the 14,700. So that gives us to the 85,300. So I can say, okay, 85,300. So that looks good. You can also see that of course on the uh, 1040 SR, which has just a little bit lo different look and feel. US tax return for seniors, uh, single. And down here's the checkbox. We're born before January 2nd. 1958 so there we have it and we get down to so it's a little bit different of a calculation there's the 147 and there's the uh, 85 300 so the 85 300 that we got to now if you want to find those because remember the standard deductions are on the first page if they if they didn't have those added standard uh, deductions are kind of listed out right here uh, but if you go to the form 1040 SR and the page four, there's where you have your, your single standard deduction uh, and the number of boxes checked, one box is checked. So now you're at that 14,700. 
if two boxes were checked, meaning you're single, over 65 and blind, then it would be to that 16,450. If married, then you've got the married couple. So one box versus two versus three versus four, because you could have one spouse be, uh, be over 65 or two spouses over 65. And both of those spouses could also have, be blind, right? Those are the four possibilities you have in that situation, uh, qualifying surviving spouse and head of household and so on and so forth.